Alright, this video will be about Islam's false prophet and comparing it to Jesus Christ. This first edition in this series of videos is going to be about the Islamic practice and doctrine of taqiyya. Now, what is taqiyya in Islam? Well, Islam's false prophet Muhammad permitted lying to strengthen Islam. I'll, I'll sum it this way. Whenever you hear a Muslim say something about Islam that it really doesn't sound right, well, it's because you're right. And what he is saying, the Muslim, is not right. It's nothing but a lie to strengthen Islam. It's called taqiyya. Okay? And where is this in the Quran? Well, Quran chapter 3, verse 28 says, Let not believers take disbelievers as allies, rather than believers. And whoever does, does that has nothing with Allah, except when taking precaution against them in prudence, and Allah warns you of himself, and to Allah is the final destination. Now you see, that's a very obscure verse. Well, let's keep going on in the Quran. Uh, Surah 16, verse 106. Whoever disbelieves in Allah after his belief, except for one who is forced to renounce his religion, while his heart is secure in the faith, but those who willingly open their breasts to disbelief upon them is wrath from Allah, and for them is a great punishment. What's it saying there? Well, if a Muslim, a Muslim can profess to convert away from Islam, but secretly he's still doing Islam, and he's allowed to essentially fake his, you know, uh, basically leaving Islam. He's allowed to lie, essentially. Uh, Surah, this is uh, Surah 40, verse 28. And the believing man of the family of Pharaoh who concealed his faith said, Do you kill a man merely because he said, My Lord is Allah, while, while he has brought you clear proofs from your Lord? And if he should be lying, then upon him is the consequence of his lie. But he should be truthful. There will strike you some of what he promises you. Indeed, Allah does not guide the one who is a transgressor and a liar. Apparently, unless it's for the cause of Islam. This is uh, Surah 66, verse 2. Allah has already ordained from you the dissolution of your oaths. Allah is your protector, and he is no the knowing, the wise. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what Satan wishes about himself, because that's exactly who the Islamic Allah is. I notice that. They're allowed to lie about their faith. They're allowed to basically say, well, I'm not a Muslim, but secretly they are. It's part of deception. They call it sacred deception. Okay, now what about, how does this, you know, how is this in contrast to Jesus Christ? Well, Jesus Christ condemned bearing false witness, and there's no exception to this rule. It's a sin to bear false witness regardless of the situation. You're not supposed to, you don't have any kind of excuse to lie about your faith or whatever. Luke 18, verse 20, Thou will knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy, th thy father and thy mother. Matthew nineteen eighteen he saith unto him, which Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Mark ten nineteen thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not steal, sorry, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor thy father and mother. Okay, there's no such thing as sacred deception. Since deceit and being a liar is an attribute of the devil. John 8, 44, Ye are the father of the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh of the lie, speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. That's Allah right there, the uh, false god of Islam. And that's his minister of Satan, false prophet, Muhammad, right there. So just yet more proof that, uh, of two things. First of all, the Jesus of Islam is not the Jesus Christ of the Gospels. The Jesus Christ, you know, who the Son of God, Son of Jehovah, the, the Son of Jehovah God, I'll put that, which, which, by the way, I've proven also from Scripture that Jehovah is not Allah. Because they'll, say, they'll make us think of how, well, Allah is just the Arabic word for God. Well, their Allah is not Jehovah. I'll just point that out. But also, it proves that not only is the Jesus of Islam a false Christ, but the biblical Christ is in contrast with what Muhammad promoted. They're false, you know, pedophile, false prophet. So I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by Islam, uh, and don't be deceived by their sacred deception. Remember, if it doesn't sound right and it come, it's coming from a Muslim, it's probably not right, and it's just them using taqiyya, their sacred deception. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.